Today I want to talk about a nematode that's a little different than most of the nematodes that people are used to working with. This is Anguina pacifica and it attacks the stems of poa annua plants in a very narrow distribution along the northern California coast. And what you see is sort of a little, not little galls, but pretty good sized galls that makes the plants look a little bit like a scallion uh, onion. And if you extract these galls from the sample, and clean them up, and I'm just gonna pull the, uh, the roots and uh, some of the other uh, extraneous materials out so we can look into the galls. You see this plant has two galls, one older and one newer. And uh, once we clean it up, we can put that on a, a microscope slide. And then when we burst these galls open, we'll get to take a little bit of a look at what we see or what we find inside the galls. So to do this, we put a drop of water. This is using a dissecting microscope to visualize what's going on. And then we carefully use a pair of fine tip forceps to carefully break open the galls. It's not too hard to see the nematodes and the, the second stage nematodes in the eggs, but the females are, are a little bit delicate. They're kind of hard to, uh, to get out. So here's how you just sort of push this uh, aside, sort of make a crack and then push it open uh, for people who are um, conducting diagnoses in, on, on this particular pest and just carefully work it apart and you'll get the uh, burst of uh, nematode eggs you'll see came out there, all the little white dots. We're gonna look at that a little bit more closely. And then you can see a bunch of uh, small uh, filamentous uh, structures. Those are the nematodes, little short guys that are swimming around in there. You can see a few of them moving around. So that's uh, what they look like from just the dissecting microscope perspective. And then now we're gonna put it on a compound scope um, and, and take a look at them in just a, just a few minutes, but here we are. They're the, they're the uh, uh, second stage larva swimming around, and then you can see this sort of a longer looking egg that has a, a second stage larva that's about to hatch. They molt once inside the egg, and then the second stage larva is the infective larva, and that's what you're seeing swimming around. In the background, you'll see these dark lines, and this is in phase contrast microscopy. Those are bacteria that are commonly associated with the galls, and at one point uh, we had some people wondering that maybe we could use biocontrol with that bacteria. I've changed the type of illumination a little bit. Now we're looking at uh, bright field microscopy so you can see the stylet a little bit better and get a rough look at what the standard second stage larvae looks like, and you really can't see much inside them, just a little bit of granular material. Uh, they have not uh, developed their sex yet, so there's no uh, sexual organelles uh, developing. It's just pretty much uh, an eating machine at this point, and we'll develop a little bit more of those structures later. And then here you have uh, another one of those second stage larvae that's uh, swimming around inside its egg, uh, hoping that it'll, I'm guessing, uh, well, it probably doesn't think anything, but it's, <laughs> it's trying to uh, grow up and get out of that egg and, and move on. This is the female, and over on the left side you'll see an egg to give you an idea of uh, the size. So it's a much larger organism than the second stage larvae, and it's pretty much just an egg producing machine. And you can see that uh, there's ovaries uh, moving to the front of the nematode and ovules and eggs developing uh, in this uh, female, and they, they pump the eggs out uh, pretty fast. And now if we zoom in on the head, you can see how small the head is. Uh, it, you'll see uh, some of the action of the nematode in its uh, normal sort of feeding strategies as it's pumping its stylet. Uh, now you're just seeing the uh, muscles that are used to push the stylet out and then a little further down away from the stylet is the esophagus and the, the rest of the, the organism. And then here's a look at what it looks like from the top. So if you haven't seen the stem gall nematode Anguina pacifica before, there's a little bit of an intimate look at her in all her glory, and we hope you don't encounter this one in the future. Uh, take a look at the links associated with this video for some detailed background on Anguina Pacifica.